I did see that you had to push your release of Thera One because of COVID. You know, yeah. what, what was that decision like? And was that something that you had to just make quickly uh, as in terms of decision making? And uh, how did that affect any release that, that you just did now? It, it affected it in a big way. Mm -hmm. I mean, we had, man, you guys, if I could, we could take another, this could be a whole other podcast. I, I, <laughs> I, if you think about this as a company, we knew we were going to launch on March 15th. That's the same day New York shut down. That's the same day everyone said, okay, the world's on shutdown. My business partner and I were with our PR firm and some other um, employees in New York and New York started, it started creeping up on New York. And I remember I woke up Friday morning, the 12th or 13th, having breakfast with my business partner. He's like, we, we gotta, we gotta shut this down. I'm like, what are you talking about? I was leaving for Europe to go on this eight city tour. France, Paris, London, Frankfurt. And we'd all, we'd been setting up for weeks, this PR tour. So I'm like, wait, what are you talking about? It can't possibly be that bad. He flew back to LA. I went to did a QVC on Saturday. I flew back to LA on Sunday. We started talking, we're like, we gotta shut this down. We gotta start working from home. So when you ask how that was, it was stunning. It stunned us. like. We'd put in all this work and literally the same day or the same weekend, it's like this hits. So we thought, okay, well, you know what? I'm not joking when I say this. I always say where there's resistance, there's blessings. Where there's resistance, there's positive. And I say, go towards resistance. And that really had to put my money where my mouth was. Okay, well, this means something. And so I, we thought, okay, well, let's take a step back and we were gonna reposition and figure this out. Well, at the same time, suddenly now we had an opportunity to donate a bunch of our inventory to hospitals. Wow. And then that sort of led into the idea of these hospital workers were discovering, oh, this isn't just for patients, this is for me. And then we started recognizing people had different new habits. I was on a, doing an interview with someone and I said, think about the best lacrosse player in the world. If I took him and I now put him on a golf course, he's using different muscles. It doesn't matter. He's an amazing athlete. He's a lacrosse player. These different muscles are now going to be sore. Well, let's scale that down now. And you have just the everyday Joe who doesn't work out sitting at his desk all day. And now he's got to work from home. He's probably not showering at the same time. He's not eating at the same time. He's not sitting in the same chair. He's not, the movements are different. His, his head position is different. And now suddenly two or three weeks into this, you have people that are in pain. And pain is an amazing motivator. Yeah. So that's when we had this dip and then it came back up. People started searching. I need something that I can treat myself. I can't go see my physio. Massage therapist can't work anymore. I can't even have someone come to my house. And now where do, what do you do with your pain? Where do you go? Our reference or our, our, our difference was, oh, I'll just go to massage therapist. I'll order a Soothe or I'll order a, I'll go to Hand and Stone, wherever you're going to get this treatment. It's not available anymore. So to your point, Diego, it was people started reaching out like, hey, I gotta get one of these. Like yeah. they started understanding the math. It's it's 500 bucks. Well, I would spend more than that right now to have someone treat me. And by the way, this is gonna be in your life forever. It's not a massage therapist that leaves your house. So it was this trickle sort of process that got down and, you know, I, I think a, a buddy of mine said, he, he's a sales rep for uh, weights and stuff. And he said, there's not a dumbbell in the world right now that's not in a home. If you wanted to buy a 25 pound dumbbell, you're not getting it. So I think this that also tells us that people are doing different movements, different workouts. You know, people that are running that hadn't run before, people that are riding their bikes, that that wasn't their source of exercise. So suddenly now on a mass scale, people are sore and pain's a good motivator and suddenly our SEO search was crazy. Hey everyone, thanks for checking out that clip. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit the like button down below. And if you're interested in hearing the full episode, it's out right now on our YouTube channel. We've had a lot of great guests come on this show before and we've got a lot of great guests coming up in the future. So hit subscribe so that you don't miss a single episode. And one final note, we're always looking for new ideas and new companies to feature on the show. So if you know of someone or know of a company, write us a comment down below letting us know who they are and what they do. We'd be happy to have them on the show. Till then, I'll just be here waiting for your comments. So, uh, 
See you later.